All right, need, need food, need some water. Everyone got good shoes and ready for work. Good clothes, good work clothes. All right, you guys are going to have tools today. Ed's going to go over the work that you're going to do. And uh, you guys should be all set. He's your crew leader, so if you need anything, talk to him. And uh, have a great day, and thanks for coming. No problem. Thank you. All right. Okay. Any questions about any of that stuff? All right. Safety, safety's number one, right? Okay. Good. Have a safe attitude. You're out there. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now we got to get transportation <coughs> Okay. I, uh, I lead AMC trips, and I'm not a dictator. I have a laissez-faire attitude. I sort of walk around and make sure everybody knows. You're all adults. You know what you want to do. You know what trails look like. You know what we want to accomplish here. The, the trail goes along the side of a bank. It's a traverse, not an up. There's, a, there's one place where it does follow the fall line, but very, very short. And <clears throat> we don't need crampons to do it. But what we need to do is take all the rocks and the logs and we cut most of the logs up. Some of them I left really long on purpose. And that was so we could, if you get four guys, you can move these logs into yeah. position and have them hopefully held up by a tree. Here's one tree, come over here, and here's a tree. And you put the log right in right. here, and that's the left or the, the low side of the trail. And as the rain washes the leaves down, it'll decompose and leave more dirt there. Okay, so it'll eventually make the trail a little more flat. I don't want to spend a lot of time today cutting, because that's a lot of work. Especially when the National Park Service has told us that they might get a bulldozer. So I don't really want to spend a lot of time doing that. If, if, if we're going to do that, we may have to do it later. So cutting is really hard work. It's very rocky, typical New England soil where we grow rocks. So that's a lot of work. I'm not interested in doing that. There's other places that we can work this afternoon that we run out of things to do. <laughs> They're going to have a dozer in here to grade this. They're going to bring stone dust and, and maybe some of the American Optimus bricks they're crushing. Hopefully we're going to try to get some of that in. What I want to do is to make this wall, right here, it starts right here, I want to cut all the junk and pull that back so you can see the wall. Once that's done, we're going to take the bales of hay and line them up wherever there's mud so the mud doesn't wash into the river. Then we're going to go in, I say we, I'm going to set up, and I, I can use volunteers to go in there. So start laying off the logs, picking up the trash. There's a lot of rocks. We can take the rocks and line them up along the left-hand side or the downhill side of the trail. And then I have four pair of lopers. If we have four volunteers, to take the lopers and cut whatever I didn't cut with them.
and it crossed diagonally. Oh, it did? Yes, it did. It originally crossed diagonally. When you get on the other side of the river, you'll see it cross diagonally. But this was actually an old road that goes down to an old farmhouse really? that was demolished. Still yeah. There? No, it's just the foundation. So, are you taping me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hang on one second, Carol. Oh, nothing like a good refuge picture. <laughs> Ayao. Ayao. He's uh, in the Army Corps of Engineers. Okay. So. You want to play a telegram? No, it's not the shoes. Just the kids. So, wait, wait, you just want to go to the other side? Yep. Well, is that where people are working? Is yeah. Is anybody working over there? Yeah, my crew is down over there. Okay. Yep. That's where we're going to go. You're right okay. on the trail, right? The right on the trail? Yes. Yep. That's where we're going to go. Up in. Zero. I happen to swim really well. Oh, oh, ALS is what means what? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I was thinking of like an actual ALS as an EMP. Oh, I did. Advanced, advanced. Oh, yeah. Support. Well, I, I took it. <laughs> different, right. different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's what I thought too. See, I'm I was an, thinking, what are you doing? This? Yeah. I'm an EMT, uh, or a basic EMT, and I'm on the Sturbridge Fire Rescue, uh, whatever. I do, I do all of it. <laughs> now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna move into the. To the sun. Well, this guy's got a he's got a recorder, so he doesn't have to write the information down. What you want to do is take the rope with you, Alex, and pull the boat up. You didn't come with us. Oh 
my gosh. Yeah, but they actually cut down that tree there and they not part way through that one, part way through this one. Are you looking for those um Yep. Yeah. Where the bridge gonna go? This is gonna be a temporary bridge uh -huh. until we can get money and funding and the bridge for that section right there. We meaning the Army Corps. Right, 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 right. Everybody. Right. Yeah. Everybody who's so involved. This, the permanent bridge, theoretically, the hundred thousand dollar bridge or whatever. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. <laughs> on the original Grand Trunk Trail. 
You can oh. see how the rate, the, I thought you heard me when I was talking to no, you. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. You see where those trucks are parked? I mean, as yeah, you yeah. look down, you yeah. saw that part of the trail. Yeah. If you were to turn around and look that way, uh -huh. you would see how the original trail actually crosses the river diagonally. Okay. We were just walking oh, on okay. that side of the Grand Trunk Trail. And we could actually walk down to that end when we get on the other side so you can see it too. So it's going to span the bridge diagonally. This is going to be a temporary foot bridge until we get that one. Well, it's all foot on the end, but it's, of course it's not AD, it won't be ADA compliant. Right, right. And I don't, <laughs> the, the I don't know foot. if bicycles would be allowed on this one. I think oh, this is going to be like well, a temporary. I mean, not bicycling anyway. Or maybe uh, walking your bike. <laughs> yeah, right. Technically. Yep. I wonder if the beavers did that. It looks like the beavers started gnawing on that. No, I'd have that. <laughs> let's, let's just, let's walk. All right, all right, all right. Then let's go back. How much do you want off the middle? Huh? How much do you want off of the middle? Are you all done on that side, Tim? No. Just worry about finishing on that side. Okay.
wore that uniform, Mom. <laughs> I've only had the uniform. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he's a good sweet guy. Somebody forget water bottle? Soccer mom, go the other way. Yeah. That's a gorgeous house. I'd love to go in there. Beautiful property. Oh, John, that's my sandwich right there between in the bag from okay. Sun. Okay. And I guess, according to Mark, Rom is not against the trail. Okay. And he's not against the land trust, but he's had problems with the town. With who? The town of Snowbridge. Oh. So that's why he's been against this thing. Okay. But I guess um
this thing is purple. All right. Favorite candy mansion. Okay. Right. Yeah. Can you hold the chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. Polish so American. Some ash pot. <laughs> the double green. Oh, oh ash pot rose. Oh, ash pot rose. Let me get the so my bearings right under the edge. You can see those two green spots. This is where the bridge crosses. Right yeah. there, isn't it? No, that's Kerboy's Road, Road, right there. Road. Sorry. Oh, oh that's, where the, that's where the bridge crossing is, so... Yeah. Wait, yeah, hold it. Oh, this, oh, this, oh this, is, this is wrong. No wonder this doesn't make any sense. It's right down there. There's the two ponds. Okay, can we just... Uh, There's a flash on my camera. Let's go over here, right? I might film it. Oh, you're out of film? Yeah! Okay, now! In fact, let me give you this. Now we're okay. Now we're all right. You want to blow another roll? Okay, all right. Come Thanks. What we can do at, from today's effort, all right, in one day, we have connected all the links. A person can hop either on a mountain bike or hike all the way down, right down the power line, make the jog across Barcarar Road, come to the town property, Hit, hit the uh, New England right away, cut across Morris's property. We have permission from Harry Morris. He was generous enough to give us a, uh, an easement. Get back on core property, stay on core property. In this coming year, Keith and I have made it our mission to put a bridge across this old road crossing. What we like to do in the future is put in, put in a bridge 160 feet long, but that's gonna become a very expensive proposition around $140,000 worth. But what we like to do in the meantime, which is within our resource budget, is put a bridge, a temporary bridge across this river crossing. We've got some pretty innovative ideas to do that. And then the connector has been made. Is Dave Peter can here? Where'd he go? Uh, he's cool. left already. Dave left, all right. But his crew made a complete connection all the way down the Grand Trunk. Because what happened before, <coughs> there used to be an existing path, our boundary path through here. And we have now focused the uh, trail back on the Grand Trunk. Uh, I've just got a recent email today. It's very promising. At this part of the property, which we do not own, of the Grand Trunk, it's very promising that we might get access to this part of the property, I mean, of the Grand Trunk. This is existing already as a footpath. And eventually we're gonna, nothing was done in here today. Uh, this is already done for the core. But what we're going to do, eventually, is come out by that last green, to point out to that spot, that's the Polish American Club, is put a trailhead there. Today, what we've done on this side is uh, Ed Baldiga, is that right? Ed and his crew and the Southbridge High School kids punched a path all the way up to the dam. Uh, Hamer Clark and his DPW crew cleared out brush all the way up to the ravine area. Dave Aho and his crew put a bridge in. Ken Pickren and his crew did a massive cleanup and tread work all the way up to Press Mill. We had some people who spent some uh, some extra time uh, bringing out and showing out the old uh, foundations, the old kilns. And what we're hoping to do eventually, as far as our expansion for the park, uh, and we're you know it, it's, it's worth considering taking back the road in this area here, to where we would close it off to through traffic and create a, tra uh, a trailhead right here. It's a parking area, and it would be a pedestrian walkway all the way through here, and the traffic would be rerouted up through Breakneck Road. So we've got a lot done today. And I want to thank everybody for coming out, because uh, uh, the, staff, the staff here is uh, who we are, and uh, we can get so much done, but only can get this kind of work done when we have the public come out and give us a hand. And, Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. John, you have anything to say? Well, uh, again, I want to thank everybody for being here. And I, as I said, I think the best is yet to come. Uh, we're also not only working on this trail, but we're also working with uh, uh, some archaeologists as far as developing some, some sites that are in the area so that you'll not only be able to walk the site here, but actually see some of the artifacts of history uh, that were associated with this. We're trying to go for some wayside exhibits. That interpretive wayside exhibits because in this area right here we have a, his, a tremendous history uh, uh, in here. Let's, let me get back to the uh, let's see back into the park area here. Boys right here. Okay, right in here. 
Right, all through here, we have uh, a lot of historical uh, foundations and uh, sites that we like to put wayside exhibits. Whereas you're walking down a trail, uh, there'll be a wayside exhibit that you'll stop and look across. You'll see an old foundation. It might be the old Ellis Foster sawmill. And you'll be able to read and see what it has to say about that particular uh, sawmill and how to fit into the history of Sturbridge or at Southridge. And uh, it'll just enhance the experience that people can have you stopping here for the first time or coming here you know, many more times after that. And uh, we like to get those sites on the National Historic Register. So that's something we're working on. It's a big ball of wax, but it's coming together. Um, this is all part of the Quinnipiac Box yeah. National Heritage Corridor. Exactly. And, and, and I just want to say that, in fact, we did get the designation uh, from the federal government. We do have that. It has happened. We uh, well, have seen some walking weekends that we've been working yeah, on. And I also have some handout materials, which I can then pass around if anybody wants to uh, have a copy of it. But again, I think this is going to certainly look to the notion of the fact that this, from Boston to Washington, it's a huge metropolis area, and the area that we're in right now is this last green valley. And uh, it's something a real challenge for us, and a very unique uh, place to uh, work and live. And I think that you know this is another example of how we can make and preserve that very unique area. I think a lot of people live in Southridge, uh, pass through this area, and don't realize what a wonderful opportunity they have right in their backyard. You don't have to go all the way up to Maine or back to State Forest or, or the Berkshires. You have it right here. And uh, we're making it happen. For, for many years, we didn't have any recreational trails here. And uh, Keith Beecher, Tom Chamberlain, myself, uh, we made it our part of our mission to provide recreational opportunities. And uh, right now, this is this is our main focus for recreational opportunities for the town. Southbridge and Sturbridge and, and for the overall public to uh, just enhance the uh, experience of living in this area. I mean, it's right here. I mean, you don't have to go very far. So, I want to thank you all for coming. I want to make sure everybody... Yeah. Merle, can I say a word? Absolutely. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks. Um, my name is Carol Childress and I'm with Opaque and Land Trust. We are the organization that's involved with working with landowners to talk about trail easements on their property, working with Mass Electric and company to try to get a trail easement on top of their power line easement so that we could extend this trail all the way to the Big Bunny Plaza. Um, we're about 50% through, so we have that's a lot of good news for us to report. And uh, hopefully by springtime, when that next meeting comes around, we'll have all of the trail ready for cleanup. Um, and uh, we'll be able to go forward and make this whole loop connect in some way. So we'll continue that. Carol is the person behind the scenes. Uh, the core <laughs> owns roughly 60 to 70, well, 70, 70 to 80 percent of the uh, of the Grand Trunk. And Carol <laughs> is involved with, with all the behind the scenes permissions of getting. Uh, the property issues, ownership issues, stuff like that. And without Carol and, and uh, her perseverance, uh, and John and everybody else involved, Ken Pickering, who, uh, and if I forgot anybody, my apologies, but it, it wouldn't happen. And we're going to do this again uh, and refine and, and really focus on certain areas this coming uh, May. Next May will be the weekend before Memorial Day. So we're going to have another effort, maybe go and tweak some areas, who knows, maybe even put the bridge in that weekend. Uh, it's hard to say, but it's uh, still all in, the, all in the works, and uh, right now we got a trail. So, thanks. Thank you for coming today. Yeah. You all did excellent work. Thank you very much. Make sure you have a coffee mug, grab some donuts, take home. Us rangers are bad enough, we don't need to eat it. <laughs> uh, Again.
pretty fantastic, huh? Yeah. Okay. I, I helped build that bridge. Oh, wow. With two other guys. Wow, that's fantastic. So I wanted to be the first bike in process. Okay, okay. That, so, I, I love it. That's, that's what it's for. That's exactly hey, what beautiful, for. Yeah. beautiful. Good for you, good for you. Hey, thank Gundam. you. Thank you. Awesome is right. I mean, I used to have to go down in a bog over there, you know, is, trying to yeah. find, trying to find a, a tree to, you know, fallen tree to right. walk out, you know. Right. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, now you don't have. To... Hi. Man, this is all fantastic, huh? Oh, it's great. Oh, it's so great. Super duper duper. Oh, yeah. So it's all over here. What? What's the uh, first story? Yeah, yeah. That would be great. Yep, yep. You don't have to pull around, huh? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, just amazing. There's the boundary up there. In fact, there's the old, there's the old trail. Well, hard to say what is old, right? Oh, put a new. Is that a new blaze on that tree? Whoa. Anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. It's all new, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa. Oh, I should have brought more film. I forgot. Make it quick there. Oh, look at this. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is incredible. Yeah, why don't you just enjoy, huh? Holy Toledo. I should have bought another roll of film. That's so sad. 
This is WV10, by the way. The boundary is, uh, there it is. <laughs> There's uh, WV10 OS, whatever that stands for. Okay, and this is where it would go to the inside somewhere. It would go to the inner trail, the small trail. But uh, this is the new trail that's carved out. Now it's kind of interesting, there's two trails that splits off over there. Uh, Man, these guys really knew what they were doing. My gosh, so much nicer <laughs> when it's level. <laughs> you know, that just to be ah, just being cleared like this. Oh, just remember, I got the old videos of what I was like before. I don't even know. Hard to imagine. Well, I've got that old video of uh, coming through here. Nothing like this. Wow, to clean out all the tires, the tiles. My gosh. You know, concrete blocks. Just amazing. Let's see, there's a bridge. Yeah, there's that other bridge for that. Whatchamacall. That, uh, that marshy area. What area? That's pretty fantastic, huh? Flagstones, yeah. Right. Still wet. Boy, somebody... Oh, little precarious there. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this is where we used to go down to, to bypass this area. Oh. And now I don't have to do that. Oh. And there it is. So easy. Man. So fantastic. Huh? That's beautiful. Okay. Is that it? No, I've got 12 seconds left. Or 15. Almost there. It's gonna run right around. There's the wall we used to have to scale. Not here, of course, it's where.